The suspension of Hrope this week is the culmination of a legal dispute spanning over 14 years between the embattled judge and the JSC. This after accusations that Hrope had attempted to influence two former justices of the Constitutional Court in a matter involving then President of the ANC, Jacob Zuma. Hrope was later found guilty of gross misconduct by the Judicial Conduct Tribunal. This finding was later endorsed by the JSC, which recommended to Parliament for his removal from office as required by the Constitution. Judges Meta says there is no legal impediment stopping Parliament to start the impeachment process. In the meantime, the president has placed Judge Lope on suspension. The suspension is completely unrelated to the process before the National Assembly, which is an independent process that must be carried out by Parliament. Ramaphosa has suspended Lope despite Lope's review application of the JSC decision in which the president and the speaker have been cited as respondents. In his court papers, Hlope is challenging the composition of the JSC when it took the decision to endorse the verdict of the tribunal. Only an interdict could stop the president from suspending him. If the court reviews and sets aside the decisions of the Judicial Conduct Tribunal and the Judicial Service Commission, his suspension will automatically lapse. If Judge Hlope so wishes, he can still take on judicial review the decision of the president to suspend him. Freedom under law says Hlope's suspension is an important step towards restoring public trust and the proper operation of the Western Cape High Court. No doubt Judge Slope will take further steps to combat or delay this decision, but in the meantime he is suspended and it means that the court can continue without his malign influence. The constitution requires a resolution of the National Assembly calling for the removal of a judge to be supported by a two-thirds majority. Parliament says it took a decision to await the finalization of court processes before it can process. Lula Mamaya, SABC News, Parliament.